Hello everyone. I hope everyone's having a good day so far. Thank you for joining me for another video. I am going to be doing a ring pour on a 12 by 12 canvas. Um, I'm going to be using bright colors and I'm really hoping that they stay in their own color and don't mix too much. If they mix some, that's okay. Um, I'm going to be using a turquoise green by Amsterdam, cadmium red deep hue by Liquitex, a cadmium yellow medium hue by Liquitex. This one is, uh, let's see, medium magenta by Amsterdam. And then the last one we have is Azo orange by Amsterdam. Now I've got my paints quite thick, so I'm hoping that the rings stay real vibrant. So let's go ahead and get our colors into the cup. If it stays the way I hope that it will, it should be a very vibrant, bright piece. Okay, I'm gonna pour down the side of my cup. I did the turquoise. And now the red, it's a lot of red. Yellow, which I know will make orange, that's okay. Magenta. And I think I'm gonna skip the orange since I've got the two together. I should not have put the red and yellow together. That's okay, we're gonna go ahead and go with the turquoise. I should have put some white in between there, but I didn't. Go ahead and use all of it. Like I said, this is uh, very pretty. It's very thick paint, actually. Should move fine across the canvas. Um, but you do need it to stay thick in order for the rings to keep their shape. And just scrape the rest of that out of there. No sense in wasting paint. There we go. Okay, put some red. I'm not going to put quite as much red this time since I did put quite a bit a minute ago. And let me get some magenta. I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of this magenta. Switched it up there, because I don't want that red and that yellow next to each other. Since I already have orange as a color. Didn't do very well putting those together, did I? That's all right, it happens. It happens to all of us. Wasn't thinking that one through. Still thinking maybe I should have put some white in here. Okay. Orange. Yellow. All right. See how the colors are sitting on top of each other? That's exactly what you want. Whoops, shouldn't have put it down. Okay. We'll move everything out of the way here. And I am going to start my little circle. I'm not the best at making circles and it usually comes out wobbly. So let's see if I can do a little bit better this time. Not yet. <laughs> Here's that beautiful blue teal. Looks like I'm gonna get some cells. There's a little one forming right there. Hope you can see it. Get all that blue, I want all that blue. Call it blue, it's turquoise. Type of blue. Or shade of blue, I guess I should say. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. Ooh, look at the cup. It's beautiful. Perfect rainbow. Okay, I'm gonna pop the air bubbles out of this. And I did use Floetrol, so I am gonna get some cells. I don't mind. 
So you hope this stretches across the canvas. It should be enough paint. All right, got off center there. I'm just gonna roll it around in a circle. Roll it around in a circle. Try and get this to cover it. If not, I've got plenty more paint over here that I can cover the edges or corners with. So that it'll slide across the canvas. Paint doesn't like to slide on dry canvas <clears throat> sometimes. I love the turquoise center. So pretty. Seeing some more air bubbles come up, so I'm gonna stop here in just a second. Shift the paint. Now I'm going to torch again. Like the color combination. There we go. All right, I think I am gonna go ahead and I'm going to put some orange here and over here and over here. I just want that paint to be able to slide really good so once it hits this paint, this orange, it should slide even better. Okay. When I was pouring the orange paint into my cup, a whole giant glob fell out and it wasn't easy to get back in, so I just made a bunch, so I guess I'm glad I did now. All right, I'm gonna spread this out some. And most of this orange will fall off, which I hate to waste so much paint, but I do want this to move across the canvas. So we're going to give it a little assistance, as I say, help it if you can. Okay, there we go. Looks pretty though, doesn't it? I'll go ahead and turn this. Instead of working upside down, make it easier on myself. All right. Like I said, this paint is thick. It is a thick consistency, but I wanted the rings to stay together and not so much blend into. Ooh, ooh. That's okay. That'll that'll push off anyway. One more little twist here. Let me get this. All right, I think we are good to go. Yeah, there we go. All right, that should help it. All right, so let's see, our paint is right here now. So I'm gonna spin it again after a torch. right where I hit that red, the canvas is showing. So I am just putting a little bit more there. Just wanna glide it along. around. Oh, it's pretty. I love the colors, like I said. Love that blue with the red in the center. See all that paint shifting? All I'm doing is kind of going in a big circle and bringing it back. Oop, that one went off the edge there. That's all right. It's going to eventually. And I'm shifting it back. Okay, I'll turn it so you can see. See the weight of my paint? It's going back that way. 
don't want it to really go off the corner just yet. There we go, shift it this way. Again, I'll turn it so you can see it better. I'm liking it. And we need to go back this way. Let me shift the paint back. Okay. I do like the colors. Keep turning so you can see it. All right. I'll go ahead and let it go off. Ooh, that sounds cool. Just a little bit. All right. There we go. And I want my paint to come all the way down. There we go. See it slowly pushing that orange. Super cool. Probably could have used a little bit more paint and probably not use the orange on the outside, but that's, it doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me. Okay. Kinda like it. I wanna move, whoops. I'll fix that in a minute. I want to move this back to the center. I love the blue and the red. Love it. Stretch that out. It's moving, it's just moving pretty slow. Like I said, I probably could have used a little bit more paint. There we go. Love the blue red. I think I've said that about four times now. All right. That is super cool. Super cool. What I don't like is the orange. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have put the orange on the outside. Hmm, do I want to put yellow? I think yellow would be pretty. Um, what color, what color, what color? I do red, that's an awful lot of red. But, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Cover this corner, these corners with red. I'm not happy with the orange, so that red will cover it up. Yellow would not. Oh, I have an F. Surely I do. And if there's some orange, that's fine. I just don't want the whole thing to be orange. All right, now let's all right, let's stretch that out. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm glad I had the red. I like the red. Bring that over. Oh, look at this. Look at that. See if I can't get that red over. Okay. I know better than try to paint in gloves. I paint in them and I end up taking them off. I have all kinds of colored nails at the end of the day. <laughs> it's quite the look. 
Love it, love it. Let me bring you down for a close-up. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, here is a close-up of the painting. Super pretty, look at my table. <laughs> so pretty. I love it. On every single corner, there's the magenta. On every single corner. Look at it in there. It's so pretty. So pretty. And there's some cells. I knew I'd get some cells. I've got Floetrol in my medium. Magenta's showing up there. And there's the magenta over there. Really is a pretty piece. This is so cool right here. I love it. The red with the blue, that, that's, I just think that's an excellent and fabulous converse, conversation, <laughs> combination. Look at this over here. So cool. So super cool. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and joining me today. Be sure and hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you for the next video. Bye.